up. Brought to you by Big Wheel Burger. Real food fast. Order up. We are ringing in our first order up of the year with a new spot in Victoria. It's a pastry house in the Jubilee neighborhood. And while it only opened yesterday, already the reviews are in and people say this is a winner. This is an opening that would have any business owner salivating. Choice, which one you want? See out the window in the back? That's a lineup of people winding down the street waiting for a treat. I'd been following them along on Instagram while they were opening. Most people here follow Goodside Pastry House on Instagram, a pastry business that until today was selling baked goods at pop-ups and online. When I was pregnant with her, that's all I craved, and I was never able to get the pre-order when they were out of Heartwood & Co. Okay. Um, and so now they have a storefront. I woke the baby up and we're here. <laughs> I saw the Pain au Chocolat on the Instagram story this morning, and it looks pretty life-changing. <laughs> life so that's what I'm here for today. <laughs> what about you? I'm not sure. I'm going to follow her lead. You're, yeah. you're the bakery boss. Yeah. 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 Do you know what you want? Just a typical croissant, probably. Typical. Yeah. Lily, Lily's really picky with her croissants. So if yeah. this passes the test, you know that yeah. it's going to be good. The business is run by Haley and her partner, Curtis. Their baking style is traditional, a blend of French techniques with modern twists and West Coast-inspired flavors. So this one is the Everything Danish. It's the laminated croissant dough, herb cream cheese that we roast garlic for and then paddle it in. It's like everything an everything bagels. bagel but a treat. Exactly. Yeah. We've got a few left of the cinnamon apple pull-aparts. Pano Swiss, our, our croissant dough, and then we do a vertical lamination on top for that view that you get. These are our classic butter croissant. Oh, we, we talked to some girls and they're here for that. Oh, That's amazing. why they've come. And then we've got the cheesy twist, which have thyme and a mix of gouda and aged cheddar in them. Eventually, the girls make their way to the front. Curtis walks them through their order, setting the stage for our first taste test of the year. Oh my God. Mm, you heard the crunch? Yeah. Thumbs up. That's good? Yeah. Oh, that. the flakiness. The oh, my God. <laughs> Can we see inside? Oh, you start, you're, Look just, at that. you're just breaking through the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm, amazing. Yeah, you guys need to come down here. Are you, hold on. Are you just saying that, or is it amazing? No, it's buttery. It's flaky. There's lots of layers. You can tell it's high-quality chocolate. It's not overly sweet. It's rich. It's really hitting the spot. Very, very pleasant. I was intrigued by this one. This is like the everything bagel, but in a Danish. A Danish yeah, form. Yeah, okay. I stepped out of my comfort zone, but good for you. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think? Does it taste everything mm -hmm. bagel-ish? Mm -hmm. It literally does. Can I have it. a bite? <laughs> a little sweeter, but mm. really good. For Brian. Two words we heard often: so really good. From the cakes to the cookies to the team whipping up a scrumptious start to the year.